All right, now my favorite stuff, scripting, okay? So let's make a new script, and let's call this robot script. Also, I want to show you a reference point on the internet. I get a lot of my information. Um, you can go to forums, you can watch tutorials and do all that stuff, but my favorite right here is this the scripting reference manual. Documentation under Unity, reference manual, scripting. And what we're gonna be looking at is, you know, we're gonna be looking at um, the animation. So if I go here to index, there's classes, attributes. If I go to classes, this is everything that you need to know about like uh, the animation states and and it looks very daunting, right? I mean, really, who reads this stuff? But it's really interesting. It's It's got a lot of hidden stuff that you, you might want to play around with as far as when I start showing you how to uh, put a class out there and then put a transform node onto it. You know, you can put, you know, a play attribute on it or a clip or a blend. And in fact, what we're going to be looking at is an animation crossfade. So here's animation crossfade. And you can follow it like this. Here's animation. So we're going to be using that word as a trigger. And then what are we going to be animating? Here's crossfade. And then they give you an example of what animation crossfade is. Okay. So a lot of the information that I, I teach you is right there. You know, I'm just putting it in video format to put it in reference to itself, I guess. So here, let's edit this script. All right, now, um, again, if you want to reference this next part too, it's there. Let's say, first I have to ask a question, and that question is going to be an if. Um, the question is going to be, what key am I going to use to trigger the animation? So I'm going to say, if the input period get capital key, okay, so capital get capital key uh, e equals Q. There we go. And when you're writing if statements, here's a, here's an easy way to do stuff. Make one of these stupid things, okay? And look at, at this visually. So every if statement has to have these items. It has to have what it's going to have as an if statement. What's the answer to the question? And then it's going to have what it's going to do when the question gets answered. And that's going to be in between the brackets, okay? So this is the question, and if it gets answered correctly, if Q does get pushed, what's going to happen? Well, as I said, in animation, period, crossfade. And what am I going to initialize? Well, in here, under my widget FBX, you can see that it's called take 001. That's what came in. And I took off plays automatically. All right, so that would be anything that comes in on an object is got to be quoted. colon there we go that should work out so what that's going to do is now when I hit file save and then put that on my object I'm going to put it in a different spot than you might expect uh, because I'm going to code some more onto this object later on so here on my crane I'm going to these are my bones, okay? So, here's gun swivel. Gun swivel can be controlled like this. If I go in here, I could rotate this and look at, that's that gun right there. So 
So that's what I'm talking about. And what I want to do here is attach the robot script to the gun swivel. Also, it looks like I got an error. So let's go in here and find out what it's missing. And I could double click on here to find out what the error is. Okay, so look at my opening closing brackets. I got an opening bracket and I got an opening bracket, but I only got one closing bracket. So that's what's missing. Okay, so let's hit play. Animation does not exist until I hit Q on the keyboard. And it says missing um, animation attached to gun swivel. Okay. So where does the animation live? Well, the animation lives up here on the FBX. And that's why it's having a hard time. And you can see that because here's the animation. So I'm going to put this one here. It doesn't hurt having it in two spots. I'm going to code a lot more onto it. I'm going to use the same script. So here's Q. Now, if I wanted to make a single script that lived on this hierarchy on the widget FBX, I could do that. It, get, it gets very confusing, and what I want to do is make a very universal script that does a lot of things other than just trigger some animation with the Q button. Okay, uh, That's why I always make like the control script. It does a lot more than just that. It handles all the GUI interface on the outside. Uh, this one down here, the widget script, what that does is allow me to rotate around the object at 0.5 intervals. So when I hit play and I switch over to a different model, it starts to rotate and then I have a, uh, a speed adjustment. Okay, So that's what those do. And I haven't put the new one out here yet. It's stated as model 1, but really obviously it's not going to be model 1. All right, now that we know how to trigger an animation, what I want to do is trigger um, a rotation based upon the keyboard. So that's in the next video.